So I will give you a brief glimpse of the gingerbread software coming for Xperia X10. This is a prototype phone with um, near final software, not fully final, but still near and should be representative for most of the experience that you will, some of you will be able to get in your X10 later. So the main home screen is basically, if you know Xperia Arc and Xperia Neo, it's very similar. So you have, this is the out of box look. These widgets are there by default. You have the upgraded uh, Timescape widget that you now can scroll like this. You also have Google search. And you also have the media widgets where you have a music player. You can scroll your photos and you have shortcuts to photos, uh, music and videos, of course. Also from the Facebook Inside Xperia integration, you have a widget included called Media Discovery that if you put it on your desktop, it will show you what your Facebook friends like when it or post on Facebook when it comes to media, such as YouTube clips and, and Spotify songs. Then, of course, if you enter the, the photo gallery, for example, you also have the Facebook integration there so that you can see your, your wall photos, your, your mobile uploads and, and other al albums that you've added to Facebook. You can even comment and, and uh, read comments from there as well. So the app tray is similar to the Xperia Arc and Neo. You scroll it like this and you have all your applications. You can choose sort order from your own order, alphabetical, most used or recently installed. And then you start your applications from there. And of course, as said before, these uh, icons down here, as just as on Xperia Arc and Xperia Neo, they are highly, highly customizable. So if I want something else here or a folder, as in this case, I could just add stuff like, like uh, as I want to. Something that I'm really glad for is the camera interface. Uh, as we said back in March, the, the plan back then was to use the, the standard Android camera interface, but our developers have been working on it, so now we actually have the, the same interface as in the current version of X10. So you will have the camera that, you, that you're already used to, just as in, in the current X10, with the, the normal features like face detection, single autofocus, multi autofocus, etc. That should give you some, some more features than the, than the standard Android camera. You also have HD video recording, uh, just as in the current software of, of uh, Xperia X10. In the settings menu, you have a few new things coming with the, the later version of Android, which is especially perhaps the, the uh, tethering opportunities that you could use USB tethering or Wi-Fi hotspot tethering to actually use your phone as a an internet router for your PC. You also have the possibility of moving applications to the SD card, which is new for, for the later versions of Android. So when you have your all your applications, you can actually choose to install some of them on your SD card instead of in your phone memory to free up more memory in your phone. Not all applications allow this though. And here are some that I've, I've just downloaded, uh, an update to Maps and Market, but also I've downloaded Adobe Flash, which I know that some of you have been asking for because the, the current version of Xperia X10 does not support it. So it's installed and works well. That's basically it. It's very similar to Xperia Arc and Neo, as I said, and uh, most of the things from those are in there. And uh, this will be available to some of you within quite short.